All right, welcome to Jeff Code Art. We're going to get started with another watercolor inking tutorial. This one's called Tree Light. You'll need a wooden board, watercolor paper, paints, and brush, a paint tray, precision masking tape, sponge and water, and I, I used a Pilot Precise rolling ball pen. For the colors, I chose burnt umber, deep green, light green, and gamboge. Now you'll get started by taping your watercolor paper to your board and wetting it with uh, sponge and water. Please check out my video description. I have a downloadable PDF that goes into different techniques for wetting and stretching your watercolor paper. There's a bunch of different opinions on how to do it and um, I don't go into it very much um, in this tutorial. So please check out those other videos in the video description. And I'm going to get started with my dark green. And start coming in with the burnt umber. And I'm just going willy-nilly with it. You do not have to paint a photorealistic tree. You can just do shapes. This is more of an abstract watercolor inking, so don't be worried about making it perfect. Now, I was a little bad in this particular painting. I put too much paint on my paper and it got a little saturated in certain areas. I probably should have waited for certain parts to dry, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. So, you know, take your time. Let certain, uh, let your first layer dry and and uh, these watercolor inkings are great when you have really light areas and really dark areas in those in-betweens. Like really have your, your light, medium, dark values. Because when you go back in with the pen, it's going to really pop. But you're working with watercolor paint, so just... Um, you know, give it a chance to dry between layers. And now I'm going in with my pen. I've let everything completely dry. And you'll notice, because I put too much paint on my paper, that there is buckling. Uh, in my last tutorial, I had said to start in the upper left-hand corner. And that is true if you are right-handed. If you are left-handed, start in the upper right hand corner because you just want to make sure that you're not smearing your ink with your hand. Now the areas that were really saturated with paint I am having to go over twice with my pen because the paper is not absorbing the ink as well. So there's just some areas I'm having to go over twice. I'm sure there are other pens that you can buy that you wouldn't have to do that with. You just go over it once. It'd just probably be a little more expensive. You'd have to go to an art specialty store. This is just a regular pen that you could buy at any old store. And this is the result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and check out the downloadable PDFs in the video description. And um, happy creating. Have fun.